Hello again. Today we have a rather lovely Omega Seamaster DeVille that is in need of a service and a light polish to the case and crystal. This particular watch is quite interesting as well as having a really attractive crosshair dial. It is a one piece or monocoque case so this isn't a snap on case back here. This is actually all just the case as we'll see in a moment. To get the movement out we will remove the strap and pull out the crown which needs to be done with quite some force. The bezel holding the crystal is then carefully snapped off and the crystal and tension ring popped out. The movement can then be taken out. The only other part of the case is this sprung movement ring. To disassemble the movement the crown is awkwardly put back on and used to align the hands. That I'll leave it off and skewed before taking the crown off and removing the dial. The owl wheel is removed as it is loose. The movement is then secured to a movement holder and the cannon pinion is removed before turning the movement over. As I have the time to spare with this service, and as I don't feel comfortable letting down the mainspring with this detachable crown, I'll let the movement run down before continuing. Next day we can start the disassembly by removing the case clamps, then the balance assembly, pallet forks, ratchet wheel, crown wheel, and click. When removing the centre seconds pinion cock, you can see there is a lot of oil freely floating around. This isn't good and could explain why the movement was lacking in performance. With the centre seconds pinion and spring removed, the train wheel bridge can be taken off, exposing the going train, the third, fourth and escape wheels are removed. Taking off the barrel bridge lets us remove the centre wheel and the going barrel. We turn the movement back over to the dial side to remove the remaining keyless works and motion works. That is the setting lever spring, minute and intermediate wheels, yoke and yoke spring, setting lever and its pressure spring. With that, the stem, sliding pinion and winding pinion come out. To finish off the disassembly, the main spring is removed from the going barrel. With that done, the movement is ready for cleaning. Pivot holes are pegged out, all the components are pre-cleaned to remove any oil that was lying on the surface, and the small components are placed into baskets before being ultrasonically cleaned. The balance and pallet forks are cleaned manually. Whilst the ultrasonic cleaning machine is working, let's take a look at the case. We start by getting the case completely clean with pegwood, brushes and a cleaning solution. Before being polished the Seamaster logo needs to be protected. Then the case and bezel are lightly polished just to remove the surface scratches and to brighten it up before being cleaned in the ultrasonic bath. After it's all dried the spring ring can be replaced and the crystal can have a refinish and polish too. Using a few grades of wet and dry paper to remove the scratches and polywatch to polish the crystal to a shine. With all the components cleaned and inspected, we can start the reassembly with a new mainspring for the going barrel. Oiling and replacing the barrel arbor, then replacing the barrel lid. The going barrel and centre wheel can then be placed back into the movement and secured with the barrel bridge, then oiled. Next, the third, fourth and escape wheels can be replaced and secured with the going train bridge, followed by the centre seconds pinion being put back in and secured with its cock. Then the winding works with the click, the crown wheel, and the ratchet wheel being replaced and oiled. We turn the movement over to replace the keyless and motion works, starting by replacing and oiling the sliding pinion and winding pinion, then the setting lever and its pressure spring, the cannon pinion, minute wheel and intermediate wheel, yoke and yoke spring, and finished with the setting lever spring, remembering that the crown is detachable on this watch and can be put back on at any time. Back on the back we can replace the escapement starting by replacing and oiling the pallet forks. And then when we put back on the balance, you can see that the end of the hairspring is loose, another probable reason for the previous poor performance. This is a simple fix though, just tightening up the screw when the hairspring is at the right height. There we go, no wobbling anymore. We can finish off the balance with cleaning and oiling the end stones on the back of the movement and on the dial side too. With that done, the rest of the pivot holes on the front and back of the movement are oiled. The hour wheel is replaced with a new dial washer. The dial is replaced, but before the hands are put back on, they are quite tarnished. See the minute hand. What we can do is gently polish all the hands, like the hour hand has been. Then the hour markers and the Omega logo on the dial can be buffed before replacing the hour hand, minute hand and seconds hand. We're going to get ready to put the movement back in the case by replacing the case clamps. With the movement in, the spring ring can be moved to hold the case in by those case clamps. The gasket in the crown is greased and then replaced by firmly pushing it back in once it has been aligned with the stem. It is now possible to easily fully wind the watch. After letting the oil settle for a day and winding it back up, the crown is removed again and the watch is regulated. It is performing well with good accuracy and okay but less than ideal amplitude. 
This is good enough to make it a reliable timekeeper for years to come. To finish, we put the crown back in and the polished bezel and crystal back on. And put it on a cracking new strap too. This watch is looking even more lovely than it did at the start and performing well too. Thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you would like to buy a watch from me, including this one, check out my eBay page in the description. Also, if you would like your watch serviced, my website is linked in the description with more information. Goodbye for now.